What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you my favorite keyboard that I use daily for Kodi on both my Amazon Fire Stick and my Android boxes. This keyboard has many features and also fits in the palm of your hand. This is called the Re Mini Keyboard. I will leave a link down below to purchase this device which is on sale right now for anyone that is interested. As you can see there are two variations to this keyboard. There is a Bluetooth variation which works on the Amazon Fire Stick and a majority of the Android boxes. There is also a wireless variation that works on any device that has a USB input. Just so you know the color does not matter, both devices come in five different colors. So let's begin by comparing the two keyboards and then I will show you how to configure it to your Amazon Fire Stick. So if we're looking at the black keyboard for now, at the top left you do have a volume rocker and you can go back and forth in an episode. You also have a play button and pause button. In this sub menu right here we do have a play button, we do have the light button to turn on the, the backlight, we have a mute button and we have a left mouse click. In the middle we do have a touchpad for all the devices that require a touchpad or if you're on a website that doesn't allow you to use any input. On the top right over here we do have our Bluetooth button, our search button, our home button and our right click button. And then over here we do have our arrow keys. So you can go up, down, left, right, and the OK button, just like an Amazon Fire Stick remote or any Android box remote. At the bottom we do have our keyboard. This is a full keyboard. The only difference between the Bluetooth variation and the wireless variation is that there's no Bluetooth button at the top right over here. There's a search button, a home button, an E button, and the right click button. To turn either one of these devices on, at the top, all we have to do is toggle the switch to on and then the backlit keyboard turns right on for you. If you do want to use the backlit keyboard all you have to do is click on this light button over here and the keyboard lights up. If you want to charge the device there is a mini USB port at the top and both devices come with a mini USB charger. To find the dongle for the wireless variation all you have to do is turn over the keyboard and it is placed in this compartment. So if we open up the compartment, the dongle will be right there for you. So now I'm going to show you how to pair the Bluetooth variation to a Fire Stick or any Android box. Alright guys, now that we do have the Amazon Fire Stick fired up, we are going to pair the Bluetooth wireless keyboard. And to do that, we are going to scroll down with our Amazon Fire Stick remote till we see settings. And under settings, we're going to go over to controllers and Bluetooth devices. We're going to go down until we see other Bluetooth devices. We're going to click add Bluetooth device. And we are going to click that Bluetooth button right at the top right. This blue light is going to blink. And it's going to show up under the Fire Stick as a discovered device. Now we're going to click on it. And now it's all paired up so you could use it with your Fire Stick. So now I'm going to press the home button so I can go to the Amazon Fire Stick home. And under the home screen, I'm going to click on Cody. And now that Cody is fired up, I am going to test out a few movies using the keyboard. And I'm going to show you how to use the menu button on the keyboard. So now I do have Exodus opened up. I'm going to go down until I see movies. I'm going to go to search. And I'm going to type in split since that's the newest movie and everybody loves it. All right, and this is the search results, and here is split. Let's say I do want to use the menu button. On this remote itself, there is no menu button, so you do have to use the letter C. So if you click on the letter C, the menu will open up for you, so you can cue the item, watch it, or autoplay it. Or if you do just choose it, you can choose one of the sources, and you can press play. All right, and once the movie plays, if you want to pause it, you can press the pause button. If you do want to decrease the volume, if you want to skip the through the movie, you can press the fast forward or a rewind button. Also, on the Fire Stick or the Android boxes, if you want to use the mouse pad, if you just use the touch pad right here, you will see an icon on the screen. All right, guys, well, that sums it up. All right, guys, well, I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. If you did enjoy this tutorial and you'd like to purchase this keyboard, I did put the links for both keyboards down below in the description. Please give this video a big like and subscribe to watch more videos on Stream Universe. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down in the comments below. All right, guys, till next time.